All right, I wanted to show you guys how Hollywood Hunter makes our vinegar steel wool solution. A lot of you had asked for it, so I'm going to show you guys. So first thing you need is a clean uh, container. I'm going to use a two gallon white bucket right here, and this comes with a lid. You can get it at your hardware store. I think this one was about $5. So uh, just make sure that it's got a real nice tight lid on there. And um, so that works really good. Also right here, I have a half gallon of distilled white vinegar. Any kind will do. I think you can find it at the dollar store real cheap. Um, then you're going to need some steel wool. I have three right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all three, but um, that's the kind that we have. And then you're going to need some gloves for your steel wool when you pull it apart because um, that could really hurt and give you a cut or something. So safety first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dump my whole half gallon of vinegar into my bucket. Mmm, nothing like the smell of vinegar. All right, save this if you're going to do it this way um, because you're going to want to put the same amount of water in later. So I'll just show you guys. There's the vinegar inside. And it comes up to about right here, which is perfect because we're going to add the same amount of water, which is going to be here. And uh, for the steel wool, what you want to do is just break it apart a little bit. So I'll just take one of these and unravel it just like this. This is going to be faster than just putting the whole chunk in there. And this. Set it in there. I'll take another one. Open it up just like this. Spread it apart a bit. And stick that in there just like that. So now, as you can see, the steel wool is in there. You may want to get a little stick or something and push it down in there. And uh, you're just going to put the lid on. Seal it up nice and tight. Alright, so it's been four days and I wanted to show you what the solution looks like. As you can see, there's little grains and it looks all mucky and dirty in there, which is perfect. That's what we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a half gallon of water to it because it's a 50-50 ratio. Set that aside. Then we're just going to take a paint stir stick, stir it up real good. And now I have two pieces of cedar. Um, they're untreated. There's no paint. There's no stain. There's nothing on it. It's just raw wood. So what I wanted to do is just paint one and then I'll show you how quickly this works. Give it a little. As you can see, it's already starting to turn. You can see some of the wood starting to get a little dark right there. And it doesn't take very long. So we'll just let that sit there for a little bit. All right, so it's been an hour and the wood is completely dry. And look at that beautiful patina it has on it. And here's a larger piece for comparison. So it really does work. This is so cool. Um, and what's going to happen now is the mixture inside here is just going to keep decomposing and it's going to turn more of an orange rusty color so that's going to be really pretty and you can just keep adding water and stretching it out as time goes because it's going to get more and more concentrated. So I hope that helped you guys and we'll see all your age projects soon. Mm -hmm.